This is a painting of some silver birch trees over on my um, art wanted uh, portfolio. Some uh, viewers asked me if I could do a demonstration of this one, so I'm happy to oblige. I'll give it another go. Um, very simple sky, a few background trees there, and then it's it's predominantly these uh, foreground trees with the reflections. Uh, there's a little bit of foreground, sure. So let's have a quick look at the materials. So I've got my usual palette here, ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, alizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umbra, light red. I've got the three brushes, large on ransonite, three quarter inch flat and a number three rig. We've got a tissue, We've got a Beckettman watercolours, squeezed and then allowed to dry on the palette. A water jar, 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. It weighs £130 and I've got it clipped to a piece of 9mm ply with these big clips there so it's not going anywhere. So last quick look at the painting before we get started. Now I'm going to start as usual giving the paper a nice soaking with the clean water and the large uh, Ron Ransom Ake. I'm going to go for the whole thing in one go here, by that I mean I'm going to try and get all the way up to the reflections while the paper's still wet, so I want to work nice and quick. So that's nice and wet now. And I'm going to start with raw sienna. Raw sienna. Straight in there, clean the brush. And then I'm going to go for some ultramarine, not too much water, because the paper's already wet, so you don't want too much water now on your brush. Water, but a bit of Payne's grey, just brush that in across. And a bit of a movement up there in the sky, and just soaking up that pool, that reservoir of water that collects at the bottom. And I'm going to put a little bit of a bit of cloud up there, so I'm going a lizard in crimson, Payne's grey, and then that'll do. A few dabs with a piece of tissue. A bit of a cloudy effect up there, and then I'm going to get into that distant, distant trees. So the horizon's about, about there. So put those trees in. Not forgetting the reflections. Clean the brush. Now, when it's slightly, I want a bit less water now on the uh, brush. So I want it to be a bit stronger. But it's still blue side of green to help create that distant effect. So, so something like that. Obviously coming slightly further forward as well because it's nearer to us. And then I'm going lemon yellow. And also putting the reflections down as I'm doing this. See, because the paper's still wet. More green. A bit of add a bit of blue to it. I'm just pull that down. Mm. A bit of pine's grey, really rich. A bit more blue. Just varying it basically. Also, a few fingernails, still a bit wet yet to take that, see how it's filling back in. Obviously not forgetting to do the reflections. Uh, I'm going to clean the brush. So a bit of red in. And a bit too much water. 
you've got too much water, just give it a wipe on the uh, towel. And just using the corner. Putting those reflections down as I'm going along. Back to the green. Let's go lemon yellow, Payne's grey. Really dark now on this right hand side. Pull the reflections down. Again, still getting really dark now. Bit of ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. Mix it all together. Pull down the reflections. Bit of light red in there, not too much because it will dominate. Put too much light red on. Pull those reflections down. Now it's how the paper's stretched, so I'm gonna pull it tight. And refix it on this right hand side. We got a nice flat surface to work with. Now, yeah, I don't want to get too mad with all those uh, tree trunks. So there's a bit of land in there, so I'm getting pines, uh, raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow, and then sideways movements, going from left to right. Just pop the land in. A bit of ultramarine, darken it up a bit. Just jutting one out there. Clean brush. Straight into that lemon yellow. Burnt umber, just create these muddy banks. Ultramarine as well, nice and dark. And it's just chutting right out there. Quick dry. Clean the brush and try and scuff it, get nice and dry, and really get some darker bits in. Some real. See now the paint's dry, you can really get the dark bits in there. Bits. Sweep around. Stick that for shore line in. Always flick up. A few bits of grasses by the shore. Just lift the brush straight up like so. Um, take a piece of plastic card, anything. 
And you can always scrape in a few little rocks and pebbles by the shore. Very easy to overdo, like I've probably done already. Once you start, it's, it's hard to stop. But you can remember, you can always go straight back over them. Just paint over them. If you've done too many, like I have, just paint over them. Um, so into the rigger. Uh, couple of little birds up there flying around. Where else? So if you wanted to, you could always you could always put like a little boat, a little boat on the horizon somewhere. So I'm going to switch to the stain with the rigger, clean it up. And then just put take out the shape of the take out the shape of the sail. Give it just trying to find a clean bit in this tissue, give it a dab. Obviously the try and go for the darker bit, the darkest part. Because it's so light, the uh, these distant trees, it's not very, it's not much of a contrast there. So I'm struggling to make it show. I don't know if you can, you can actually see that or not. Yeah. It's very, it's not very. Let's do a very light reflection. Just a very subtle little boat on the horizon. Um, I think all that's left to do now is pop the uh, pop your signature in. And that's just a very quick impression of a little lakeside scene. So there's our finished painting. So let's have a look at the uh, photograph of the other painting I did. It's, it's not a million miles away, it's not exactly the same, but it's there or thereabouts. Um, one thing I should have done, I should have, I think maybe the could have done with maybe a little bit of rigor work just to put some more branches and trunks in there. And then you notice how the reflections actually start above the waterline there, which is a slight cock up on my part. But not to worry. You can uh, just about make out our little boat there on the horizon. But as I say, the darker the, uh, the darker the background, the more contrast you'll get. But I didn't want to do it too dark because it was so distant away. And then a few scrapes with the card. You get some nice little rocky, rock effects from pebbles by the shore there. And then just lift your hike up just to create some nice little grassy, grassy bits by the water's edge. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you again soon.